the big winner though this weekend yeah. was Grand Torino. Yeah. Which uh I don't know, people are saying is the Anthony Cumia story. Really? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. That's that damn movie was sold out because I was ready to go to that. Or, the, or that slum dog millionaire, but we got stuck with this revolutionary road and whew. Clint Eastwood uh it could be his last acting job, too. Yeah, please. He's saying he's getting a little old. He'll still direct and stuff like that. But uh, Remember when the Who said they were retiring? Well, it's just a thing to do now. Yeah, you say you're going to retire and that's it? Yeah. Well, also his biggest grossing uh, movie uh, on an opening weekend uh, ever out of any of his movies. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one, he just plays a complete racist who uh, goes around everywhere with his guns. And um, apparently he befriends his neighbors, who are Asian, mm -hmm. but uh, still calls them horrific names. <laughs> but uh, And then there's a storyline in there of how, I guess, he protects them in some way, shape, or form. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, good. From Baghdad. But I hear the language is very um, r gritty, raw, and what you would hear in the Kumia house on any given day. <laughs> no, they, they stop a little short, though, I heard. Do they? I heard they don't use the N-word. What? I heard they kind of stop a little short. Not in the Kumia house. Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh. That's why I, I, I had to jump in here. They, they wouldn't let the Clint Eastwood go all in with some of the language, I heard. Well, there was a little controversy over that. Yeah, why would you in Hollywood want, want yeah. to have a believable guy like that? If the character's going to be like this, then let him go all in and, and say what the character, you know, oh, people okay. like that in real life would you know, mm -hmm. say. I guess he says, um, he uses the word spooks. Uh -huh. um, and but, then, of course, all the uh, your standard Asian uh, references. That's sure. the only one he uses for black? Yeah, I um, well, that's all I, the information I'm getting right now. Well, the now. controversy is that he didn't use the N-word, and people are like, well, yeah. this character would obviously use of the N-word, so what's he the would. problem? Hey, if, if, because if, uh, you're, right. you're right. Of course he would. Oh, God. So, but it, it did great, you know, but uh, then yeah. again, Bride Wars, that, that's tough That's tough competition at the box office. <laughs> Ugh. Kate who, Hudson. Who went and saw that? Stinks. Yeah. She stinks. And it's some real lemons. What, you, <laughs> <laughs> what has she put out that was remotely entertaining? Almost Famous. Exactly. Almost Famous was a. Um, have you ever seen Almost Famous? Yeah, it was okay. I, I love that movie. I didn't hate it, but I, I would. I, I didn't remember she was in it. I almost uh, did a little on demand and checked that out again over the weekend. Almost. <clears throat> She's done a. I'm, it's just the movie she picks, really. It's all chick movies. My best friend's girl. That was a bomb, right? Fool's gold. That was a bomb. Fool's gold. Now, that looked good though. With Matthew McConaughey. I sat and watched that one. You saw Fool's oh, gold. I saw Fool's gold. Why? You have a dress on. What girl uh, wanted to see uh, Fool's gold? <laughs> eh. I know you well enough that you're Put not it this way. It all the movies you can pick. You're not going to uh, pick Fool's gold. It's one of the last movies uh, before you know. Oh, the breakup. Yeah. Before the summer romance Before is the done? Big party. Yep. Oh, really? How yeah. bad was it? It was arguably one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Really? Yes. Why does she constantly address Matthew McConaughey's head size and hairline <laughs> and yell yuck and point at it? <laughs> there was nothing there. It was so boring, long winded, just no action. Mm hmm. Nothing. It sucked. She's, what is that, her ass? She's so good to look at, though. She's All sexy. Right. I would go see uh, one of these dumb Kate, you know. I'd, I'd go see one of these movies just to look at her for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> that time we had her in the studio, my God. She's attractive. Though. She was also in uh, You, Me, and Dupree. Oh, that was starring uh, Jimmy Norton's favorite actor, Owen Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> With pursy lips. I love the fact that, no. she, that she dumped them. And he just took a whole bunch of uh, whatever he took, tried to off himself. Yeah. I hope they get back together and she redoes it for better this time. <laughs> Dump him again. Yeah. She's all right. got her mom's uh, boobs, though. None. That's all right, though. Yeah, it's it not works, always about the works boobs. Works good on her. The rest of the package is okay, man. You you can look past the tiny little No, boobies. that's fine. She, she's, it fits her body. It's great. You know. When you were younger, it was all about the boobs. You get a little older and you understand, okay, there's more to a woman than, <laughs> than big boobs. <laughs>